Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 38th episode of Hikaru no Go. Now, last episode, Hikaru played some Go. And there's also some, some focus on this one kid that seems to have, like, a rich dad that just hires pros to come by to the house to, to help his son with his Go lessons, so that's a thing. And uh, you had Kira be one of those pros, and he only agreed to do it just because it's, it's a connection to Hikaru in some way, so... Yeah, that should be interesting to see how that goes, so let's get into it and see how that goes. Three, two, one, play. Boom 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 Ooh, can you imagine how weak a laptop would be back then? Okay, we're back into it. He's changed a lot. Quite a bit of character development, you could say, I guess. Sai's so proud. Only three people. Who will those three be? That's the question. Hopefully Hikaru is one of them. My goal is to be the best like no one's ever been. Yeah, still recap stuff from last episode. The Challengers. So now we should be getting new stuff. Seventh match of the Pro Exam Finals. And so far Hikaru's been doing very well. It is great to see. Okay. Good to know, question mark. You'll show us something, I guess. <laughs> that was the last way I turned it around. Pretty good. Come a long way since that time. <laughs> Getting fully called out. <laughs> I would never do anything like that. It's really good, it's really cool to see Hikaru so calm, cool, and collected, and all together. Yeah, not get in his head this time. You have to use your actual ghost skills. I know, how horrible. I have to resort to such a thing. But, yeah, great to see a rematch between them. Hopefully it goes different than the last one. Which I am confident it will.
Yeah, he just says whatever comes to mind. Yeah, you don't have to yell at somebody that's like right across from you. Doesn't mean you have to yell. Oh, an indoor voice. I guess it will be hard to hold on a job while doing all this. <laughs> Based off of what are you making that assumption? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what you would have to do to be able to take this exam. Be a part-timer. Well, good for you. Wow. <laughs> Trying to really see what people have to do to get this opportunity. I know, right? Well, he wears glasses, so he must be smart. That'd be nice. Probably. Oh, wow. I go up playing lawyer. That's all you gotta do, just win. Not that hard. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> just picking out Tabaki now. They're not wrong. Okay, let's get into this. Do your best, Hikaru. Just keep your head in the game. Don't let anything distract you. Don't let anybody get inside your head. Aside from Sai, of course. But he kind of lives there. Wow. Cool. Yeah, it's gotta end eventually though, right? Like when they face each other. Oh, why uh Yeah, the first loss is not that bad. But it could definitely hurt your uh hurt your confidence a bit for sure. <coughs> Of course. <sighs> okay, so I was waiting for us to break this up. I was hoping we didn't just get past it, but it seems like we did not, so that's good. <coughs> Those girls seem nice. Very still, but nice. 
And the internet would never lie, so. Well, then maybe you should talk to him, you know? Or even play a game with him. Like a train that runs you over. But a metaphor. <sighs> I'm here to talk about Hikaru and also to play Go, I, I guess. Onegashimasu. Well, what do you expect him to do? Have, like, a mohawk? Of course, he looks like a normal guy. Yeah, those eyes. Much bigger than yours. He's always serious, what, do you, what can I say? But I guess he's not used to that. If only he was as strong as me, he wouldn't be such a disappointment. A little bit harsh. Okay. Okay, whatever. It's pretty good. So I gave you a real one. Because I'm not as good as you. <laughs> gotta gotta work hard to pull this kid closer to your level who is worthy of facing the great Hikaru that's kind of funny you used to me and most importantly Shindo oh did he? Well, sure, but... <laughs> yeah, you seem to really care about this kid for some reason. <laughs> yes, this definitely le leads, uh, lends some credence to that, doesn't it? <laughs> but... But you see Akira right in front of you. <laughs> Just so you know. That's plenty of time to get better. <laughs> you didn't mean anything offensive against you. You just pointed out. It's quite a deal. Yeah, I didn't say that, but...
<laughs> uh, he's been found out. Thank you, Billy, found out. Okay. I guess that could be a little bit offensive. He's his best friend. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> I knew you would say that. <laughs> he must have been a real blow to his pride. Which he clearly had a lot of. <laughs> eh, such a child. Yeah, I don't know what happened in there, but uh, I'm sorry for my grandson. You're so rude. <laughs> Don't be jealous. <laughs> now you're starting to get a little bit focused on Hikaru, aren't you? Eleventh match of the Pro Exam Finals. Not a lot of people in here. One, I think. Yeah. So Hikaru, Hikaru really did lose once. Yeah. Well, the fact of the matter is, and everyone can become a pro, so. That should be something. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> wow. That's his reasoning. Makes sense, I guess. <gasps> yeah, if it didn't rattle him, then that's a good sign for sure. True. Well, you might still, anyway. That hat is so ridiculously big. Yeah, he's in it. Gotta have your head in the game and it should, it should totally be doable. Don't ignore Sai. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. That would be something if you had actually lost a game to Hikaru. That would be something indeed. <laughs> oh, he's been fully triggered. He's arguing with himself, his ghost friend. <laughs> Wow, that was silly. The only one bit of silliness in the whole episode. Everything else was pretty tense. Oh, that's not true. There was silly stuff in the break room. It's about you.
Well, you say that, but let's let's wait and see. Is that significant? Okay. Yeah. to me. Yeah, there he is. I think Hikaru can win. He's got to really give it his A game. Do his best. Yeah, I think that final shot there will be my thumbnail. Uh, uh, okay. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> You know, I am glad they said Ochi's a name enough times in the episode where I actually remembered it. They don't just call him the, you know, little rich kid. Okay. Nice view there. Lutz. Okay. Okay, put it right there. And he puts it there. Yeah, it takes the two black stones. And then, yeah, that stone as well. Oh, well. <laughs> don't, don't get ahead of yourself. So, that was the... 38th episode of Hikaru no Go. And this episode, here we know we got to see Hikaru continue his matches. We had Ochi finally meet up with Akira in his place. And things were going well for the for a while, you know. Until he started to see how much he cared about Hikaru. And how he wanted to just use this kid to, you know. He, he basically wanted to use Ochi to as Hikaru, basically. If you see if he's worthy of being an, op an opponent for Akira and all that, and he really did not take that very well at all. He completely lashed out at Akira, like, leave, never come back again, and all that. It was kind of funny, but... Yeah, that ended on a... That, that ended poorly. I really did not think it would go in that direction, so that kind of surprised me a little bit. But I suppose the Hikaru actually lost the match, I guess. I don't know who. Were they trying to imply that it was to Tsuba Tsubaki? I think all I said was outsider, but I don't that, that that's not very specific. But oh well, the point is he lost a single match, but I didn't rattle him, which is a good thing because that was a big concern. Luckily, we were able to avoid that. And uh, yeah, up next he'll be facing off against Isumi, which is a pretty important match, pretty big match, one of the first real, real important matches of the for the finals. So yeah, hopefully that's really given its time to shine, and hopefully Hikaru wins. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.